but he did bring it back to the he office. Did. Did. What a fantastic experience. Colleen, how was restaurant week? I absolutely enjoyed the experience. the experience, the waffles, hands down. I will go back to the get dessert that. Foods. Just that. <laughs> dessert <laughs> food. Have you ever been to restaurant week? No, haven't done a restaurant week. Neither have I. Yeah. Next year will be us for Brent. I <laughs> think so. Hopefully he'll invite us. And tune in tomorrow for part two of Brent's coverage of TNT Restaurant Week. It's now time for the weather forecast with Colleen Hussein. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty busy weekend. It's a holiday weekend as yep. well, Colleen. A lot of outside activity. What can we expect? Well, we are expecting to see some drier weather, which is good news. But that doesn't mean that the rainfall is done with mm. Trinidad and Tobago just yet. And we are also monitoring quite a lot of activity in the tropics. So let's go take a look at that because we have Tropical Storm Hermine all the way in the just very close to the coast of Africa. We have Tropical Storm Gaston, which is affecting the Azores Islands. They are under a tropical storm a warning right now as heavy rains and winds affect them. Now, Hermine is also affecting the Cabo Verde Islands, usually affected by lots of Saharan dust and dry weather. They're getting an unusually wet time this year. We have Hurricane Fiona, which is now going undergoing extra tropical transition. That means it's just losing a lot of the tropical characteristics, still going to pack quite a punch for northwest, northeastern Canada, parts of Newfoundland as well, bringing catastrophic winds and storm surge to that area. And we are also monitoring Tropical Depression 9 in the Caribbean Sea and a tropical disturbance in the tropical Atlantic. None of these systems pose any threat to Trinidad and Tobago and the Lesser Antilles. But we're taking a closer look at Tropical Depression 9 because recently got designated today because of its formation, Jamaica is now under a tropical storm watch. The Cayman Islands under a tropical uh, hurricane watch, rather. And this system is supposed to gradually strengthen over the next several days, and then rapidly strengthen as it nears Cuba over the weekend into Monday. And then it's a fairly uncertain path where on Florida it's going to make landfall by the middle of next week, but the National Hurricane Center is explicitly forecasting rapid strengthening over the next several days and could make landfall as a Category 3 strength hurricane. So if you have family in Florida, maybe it's a good time to check in with them, make sure that they have their hurricane plans ready and ready to execute as well. Shifting back to Trinidad and Tobago, where we are not seeing a lot of showers, some few uh, scattered showers to our east, and that's not really going to make it to land, but over Overnight tonight, generally settled conditions to start. There is a low chance of an isolated shower anywhere across the islands, interrupting partly cloudy skies. Temperature-wise, relatively cool between 24 and 25 degrees. And as we head through tomorrow, we're starting off sunny, just like today, but by the late morning through the afternoon. That's around 11 a.m. through the early afternoon, around 3 p.m. We could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms develop, mainly across western and hilly, hilly parts of Trinidad. And then Temperature-wise, we are looking out for maximum highs around 33 degrees Celsius. So walk with the water and the umbrellas. If you're heading to the beach, go a bit earlier. And if you are heading to the beach, exercise caution during those high tide periods because we have spring tides present, so that's higher than usual high tides. Waves generally will be below 0.5 meters in sheltered areas and slight in open waters. Now looking at the forecast for the next five days, we do expect to see wetter conditions by Monday because of multiple weather systems, not tropical related, move across Trinidad, Tobago, and the Windward Islands. So a wet start to the week, but enjoy the sunshine as we head through the weekend. Good news for those that are heading outdoors. If you do have stuff though, between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., walk with the umbrellas. Walk with the umbrellas, certainly so. Thanks very much, Colleen. Looking no forward to that sun on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs>